Hi, welcome to another video and in this video I'm gonna make a summary of the book Colorless Tsukuru Tazaki and His Years of Pil Pilgrimage. So that's the novel by uh, Haruki Murakami, it's actually one of his uh, latest novels, it's I think wrote, uh, written uh, in 2013 and uh, this novel is one really like I would say typical uh, for Murakami of course uh, every novel uh, written by him is typical for him but uh, so uh, the main character it's already in the headline so Tsukuru Tezaki he is uh, the main character of this novel and uh, it's the story about him uh, uh, actually breaking up with his friends, uh, f with his company uh, of friends uh, from high school and the topics are uh, so loneliness, uh, emotional uh, trauma and uh, actually those problems from the past and actually uh, the one of the topics uh, is, one topic also is love uh, so uh, Tsukuru Tazaki fell in love uh, with a woman called Sara and uh, he uh, really wanted to be with her, he loved her but he couldn't really uh, give all of himself to her because uh, he had do those problems uh, with the past and he had to resolve those problems in order to be with her so uh, the char main character Tsukuru Tazaki is uh, actually a lonely wolf I would say and uh, Tsukuru doesn't really have friends he is mostly alone uh, he only had one friend uh, Haida in uh, college and uh, that was friendship only for a few months they were swimming swimming together and then it was like uh, Haida just uh, go went away and uh, left him just as uh, that company of friends in high school and he loves swimming and he was a great student and now he's a great worker he works uh, what he loves he's uh, he's constr constructing uh, constructing train stations and he actually loves train, sta train stations and it's one really uh, interesting idea uh, of the Murakami because it's really uh, actually somehow sad because uh, as Tsukuru Tazaki is watching all those trains and people uh, going away traveling it's really like you're going somewhere something is uh, going away from you and uh, it really feels weird because uh, when you sit in the train and train goes goes away it's actually gone and it feels really sad when uh, you stay alone on the train station but uh, that's actually that uh, feeling that uh, Haruki Murakami is trying to to create uh, that uh, feeling of uh, like weirdness and sadness somehow uh, that's uh, actually uh, connected with the topic and uh, what is really important uh, is that uh, Tsukuru Tazaki is really like cold-blooded and he really doesn't care um, much about so many things and uh, so he's and he's of course colorless so his name Tsukuru uh, means uh, man who creates with his hands and that's why he's constru constructing uh, train stations but uh, he is colorless he doesn't have a color he is like basic but all uh, his friends those four friends from high school they have colors and they are uh, first is Ao that's blue then Aka that's red uh, Kuro is black and Shiro, Shiro is white so uh, those are his four friends they were a group of friends in high school they were really Unseparable. They had really amazing connection. They were always doing everything together. But when he went studying in Tokyo in college, then uh, they broke up with him literally because uh, uh, Shiro said them that uh, Tsukuru uh, Tazaki uh, had sex with her, and then uh, they broke apart. And that was really uh, big damage. That left really big damage on uh, Tsukuru Tazaki and uh, the actually uh, music uh, helped him a lot so uh, Le Mal de Pace by Franz Liszt uh, Years of Pilgrimage, uh, first year uh, Switzerland is actually the main uh, song that helps Tsukuru Tazaki resolve his trauma because Shiro used to play that song when they were uh, hanging, hanging out together but now he was uh, listening to that song 
uh, with his friend Haida and he uh, gave him that uh, actually word so, uh, he gave him that uh, song so Tsukuru could uh, listen to that whenever he wanted and so with uh, in that relationship with Sara uh, Tsukuru and her w uh, they were dating and he really wanted to to be with her he loved her but uh, she told him that he uh, it's obvious that he has some problems from the past and that it's uh, really bothering him and he was trying of course to compress that uh, to put that away put that down but uh, it was always there and Sara told him he, ha he has to resolve that uh, if he want to be with her and uh, then he went uh, to finding his friends so he first went to his uh, hometown Nagoya to talk to his male friends uh, Aka and Dao and uh, th there he found out that they really didn't wanted to break up with him but they had to trust Shiro uh, in saying what uh, what she in uh, what she said and then uh, they really had okay conversation but it felt that uh, there there's no, uh, really no uh, that connection as it was in high school of course they are now grown up men uh, so the story is uh, happening in when they are 38 years old and those problems happened 20 years ago uh, actually 18 years ago when they were in high school 20 years old and so now 16 years after that uh, when they are 38, uh, 36, they are meeting again. So Tsukuru is going to them, uh, to their offices uh, in Nagoya and they are talking. And then Tsukuru finds out that uh, Shiro is of course dead. He didn't know that, uh, that she died when she was 30 years old. But uh, Kuro as well, she moved to Finland. Uh, she married, she got married there. And uh, she, and then, and she has uh, kids. And then, uh, of course, Tsukuru had to resolve that trauma. He went to her in uh, Finland, in Helsinki. And then uh, they had like really great conversation. And uh, they resolved some, do some of those traumas. Uh, they were really open. And uh, of course, then he, it was way much easier for him. Uh, then he really then understood what happened. Uh, with with all of them and if, of course it was it still hurt him but uh, it was uh, way much easier because now he realized that it, it is what it is and uh, the time the past can be changed but it's it's at least easier for him to to understand that uh, why they broke up with him and then in the end uh, he uh, is talking to Sarah of course they were uh, talking on the, f on the phone uh, and they uh, made deal to go on a date on Wednesday and the story ends on Monday so the story ends really without any explanation and uh, resolution so story ends with the scene when uh, Tsukuru fell uh, falls asleep thinking about Sara and how they are going to go out on a date and that's the end of the story so really uh, unresolved and uh, you don't know uh, actually the end uh, and that's how it mostly works uh, as well with Haruki Murakami he left us uh, with more and more questions and uh, one really uh, actually typical thing for Murakami is uh, con combining and connecting uh, dream and reality so dreams have really huge uh, impact here in this novel and uh, dreams are really combined with uh, of course reality and in some cases you don't really know uh, whether uh, it's reality or it's a dream because uh, Murakami really combines that together and it's really weird in, in some situations and it's really uh, difficult in sometimes to re re actually recognize uh, what's going on is it the dream or reality, is it past or is it present and that's really a huge confusion in, in those uh, Murakami's novels and what so what uh, the biggest lesson for me from this novel is that uh, if you don't resolve your problems they're gonna bother you forever and you till you resolve them so you should do that as soon as possible and uh, it's really difficult to actually confess that to yourself but uh, you should face that problems face those traumas and uh, as soon as you do that it's gonna feel way much better and it's gonna be way easier for you to live uh, further on if you 
uh, don't have those uh, weights and those problems from the past and uh, it's actually I mean there are so so many lessons uh, from from this book so many quotes uh, that were in this book and th that's really actually the first novel I read by Haruki Murakami uh, before reading any of his novels I uh, read his autobiography uh, and then I started reading started reading his novels so I really like that style because uh, it's really easy to read uh, you're really just turning the pages pages so quickly and you're easily going through the the text and actually uh, the story is really compelling as well and uh, that's the, actually the favorite type of uh, novels to write for Haruki Murakami as he said in his autobiography so that's a uh, long form novel so it's it has really I think uh, 250 pages something like that and uh, it's really long uh, long novel but it's easy to read and it really doesn't matter it uh, doesn't uh, impact anything because it's long because it's actually easy to read and then you're finishing it really quickly so I really have uh, so many positive uh, opinions about this and only the best thoughts on, on this novel so I'm really grateful for that and I really enjoyed reading this and I'll be definitely coming back to, to this novel because it teaches you a lot and for example one of the quotes that uh, is stuck in my mind is that uh, uh, this life is worth living and you should live it to the fullest and that's really like uh, so those quotes are really hidden in the text but you really feel uh, when the author is speaking to you and that's why I love novels so much uh, lately I, what I want you to remember is that uh, these traumas from the past you have you should be resolved as soon as possible and the past uh, sh is that they sh it should be uh, left uh, where it, where it belongs in the past and you should really live comfortably right now with all those resolved problems and uh, that's that's mostly it thank you for watching and of course I recommend you to read this book it's really amazing amazing to to read and I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I did thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video